Good afternoon, ladies. I hope you are excited for our marbling workshop. Marbling is awesome. Some of the techniques are quick, easy, oh, just really cool. Some of them are a little bit messy. Um, one of them in particular is super messy, but looks super awesome at the same time. So you gotta weigh up if you want super messy or super awesome or what you wanna do. Um, but we will start off with Sharpie marbling. So, um, I have bubble gum here in flirties. Um, okay, so I'm gonna paint this color pop really quick. Sharpie marbling looks awesome. You don't have to go out and buy really expensive Sharpies to do it. You can use cheap Sharpies if you wanna use cheap Sharpies. And so I have a layer of bubble gum on there. I'll chuck him in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I got these guys in deals. Um, they're literally just fine point markers. That's in there. He's basically a cheap Sharpie. Um, somebody asked me to do this and I didn't have any Sharpies, but I had a bunch of them. So I tried it with a bunch of those guys and it looks exactly the same. Um, so while I'm waiting for him to dry, oh, he's ready, never mind. Oh, there we go, there's the hand. Okay, so I'm getting my second layer popped on this guy. And I'm gonna chuck him in the lamp and cure him. Okay, so. This is really cool. This looks awesome. So I'm going to chuck him up there out of the way. So what you're going to need is your cleanser or some alcohol. You're going to need a little brush, um, whatever little brush you like to work with. This is my trusty little guy that I got in the art hobby shop that you guys have seen a lot of. And you're going to need your Sharpie. And apart from your top coat and your color, that's all you need for this one. So he's ready to go. Okay, so I have my little marker and I am just going to come along and do some kind of almost like little cracks. You guys see that? So I'm not using any fancy drawing techniques or anything. I'm just scribbling on the nail at the minute. And then I'm just getting a little bit of cleanser out so I can get my brush nice and wet. And what I'm gonna start off doing is just drawing over the Sharpie, the kind of pen lines over and over and over. So this is kind of like the smoke effect when we did that. Kind of more you go over it, the more it spreads out and gives like a kind of granite marbled effect. So I'm just right by play. I want that ink to run. I want it to run loads. Um, I think this works best um, when you use like a dark pens. The light pens, once you start to kind of water them down, they really disappear. So unless you were doing like a white underneath it you're best off using the darker pens. So you don't need to be artsy or have a steady hand for this. You can see I'm wiggling my brush all over this to spread that out as much as possible. 
the more I go over it, the more it's spreading out for me. Doesn't that look really cool? And then to finish him off, we are literally just going to top coat him. And he is as simple as that. And that gives you your kind of marble granite effect. So give me a thumbs up if you like that one. I think that looks cool. So we chuck him in the lamp and get him cured. Okay, so one down. Um, I'm going to grab white for my next one. And this is another similar look, but not exactly the same, but it's done in gel polish without Sharpies. Chuck him in there, get him cured. And that is our finished granite marble nail. So let's put him on. He is cool. Awesome. Cool. Right, let's chuck him over there in the corner. Nail. So I'm just painting him up again. Okay, now this time instead of curing them, I'm going to leave them there for a second and I'm just going to grab a little lid that I can use for a few minutes. I just stick that to the side of my polish. I did. Good job, me. And I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to dispense a little bit of black onto my lid. And then I'm just going to push the lid out of the screen so it doesn't make my polish go out of focus or my nail go out of focus. And I'm going to pick a little bit of black up onto my brush. And I'm going to pop into the nail. And I'm going to drag them through. See the way I keep going over that? So that's gone into the uncured layer of white that I have. I'm dragging him through, thin him out as much as possible. So again, you don't need to be artistic for this one. I'm literally just dragging this around the nail. Don't need a steady hand. You can see there's nothing steady about what I'm doing here. I'm just dragging him through. And then I've got a bit of my brush so I can go down here. So this has all been done with one little bead of black that I put on at the very beginning. And I'm just dragging, dragging through the nail. It doesn't have to be done with black and white, it can be done with any colour. chuck him in the lamp and cure him. So you're going to cure him for 30 seconds or 60 seconds or two minutes depending on whatever gel polish you're using and then I'm going to top coat him. So marbling techniques are quite easy to do um, but they look really cool. So I'm going to get my next nail painted up while he is curing. So I have lilac haze here. Oh, if he wants to open there we go. Painting down this nail with lilac haze. And I'm going to chuck him in the lamp and cure him. 
And while he's curing, we will top coat this guy. Maybe chuck him back in the lamp. And let's just have another sneaky little quick peek at our Sharpie marbling one. He's pretty awesome. Okay. I'm going to pop layer number two on Lilac Haze. And I'm going to chuck him in the lamp and get a full cure on him. Okay. So what I have then to go on top of my Lilac Haze for our marbling is I'm brighter thank you with some white mixed in there that was one of the ones that I mixed up and um, we have a temperature changing one it's number four I think it goes purple I'm not actually 100% sure I can't remember and um, we have fuchsia blossom which is a gorgeous purple and we've got royal pearl just to have a dark um, contrast in there as well so get all of these off and we'll get these guys all open and ready to go okay so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna start off down here with fish blossom and I'm gonna do a few little dots of color just by tapping my brush off the nail. Then I'll move on. I'll go to my pink one. I'm going to do the same thing. The dots don't have to be even. Oh, he goes white. He's going white there on me now. They don't have to be the same size. You don't have to have the same amount of them. You can have a few or you can have loads. And I'm going to pop some of my orange on there. And I've got my blue just for a bit of contrast. Okay. Now the next bit you can do with either a brush or a dotting tool, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use a brush because brushes are a little bit more fluid, so they blend a little bit nicer. Um, but if you don't have one and you have dotting tools, that's totally fine. You can work away your dotting tool. And what I'm going to do is clean my brush first of all, make sure it's nice and flexible. So I'm going to go into my first colour and I'm going to swoosh him around into my next one. And then from here I'm going to swoosh him around as well. I'm going to take some of my blue, give him a swoosh. So I'm kind of drawing letter C's as I go. Just swooshing them, blending them all together in different directions. Making sure to keep them all different. Literally swooshing in the letter C. Swoosh. And now I want to fill up some gaps. Now do you see the way I'm not cleaning my brush in between each time? Because I want to drag those colours all the way around the nail. So right now what I'm working on is I'm getting rid of those dots. So those little dots that we started with, you don't want to be able to see where they started and where they finished. So I'm swooshing into all of them to get a very pretty marbled effect on the nail. And there we have them. So another really pretty quick and easy marbled effect going in the lamp. And you're just going to cure him again for whatever amount of time you are supposed to cure your gel polish. And I'm just going to top coat this guy really quickly. I think I may have already top coated him. Oh well, I've got two, two layers of top coat now if I did. Okay. So we're going to keep the messiest one to last. 
because it's also probably my, well, I don't know if it's my favourite or not anymore. It's one I used to do loads of. Then I got fed up with how messy it is. So we're going to keep it till the end anyway. So he is done. So we are going to top coat him. Why did I close the lid on my top coat? So we are top coating him. And he looks awesome. So again, let's see him in action. He is class. So we'll chuck him in there. Lamp on. Okay. So the next one, I am starting to paint the nail with a nude. And I'm going to chuck that in the lamp and cure it. And while he is in there, I'm going to take a bunch of other colours. So I have black cherry sparkle, chestnut, a temperature changing one. I've got buttermilk. And just to give a bit of contrast, I've also got rose pink. And I'm going to transfer a blob of each of these onto the back of my palette here. And I need my brush again. Well, I need to pop another layer of polish on this one first. Where did I go? Sneak peek at this guy. Who is amazing? So cute. So cute and so easy. Um, I feel like marbling is going to become a big thing this year, so make sure you guys can do each of those designs and the ones that we're going to do now and then in a few minutes as well. So I've got my palette. I'm going to get these guys all out of the way. Not you. Just chuck them on the back now. And I've got a little wipe here to clean my brush on as well. So what I'm going to start with is picking up a little bit of buttermilk and I'm going to paint it down the middle of the nail. So I'm putting it on fairly generously. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to take my pink I'm going to put it right down the side, touching off buttermilk a little bit. Again, nice and generous. And I'll clean my brush. And then we'll take black cherry sparkle on this side as well. Down the side. And then on this side, then we'll go for chestnut. And then we'll do this temperature changing one. Okay. So we have lots of super ugly 
not very even stripes right now. And what we're going to do, I'm just cleaning off my brush. And that's the last time I'm going to clean my brush. And what I want to do is go in a line across the nail. And then I'm going to pick up where I left off and go back across the nail in the opposite direction. And I am going to do this zigzagging my way up the whole nail. All the way, starting where I finished and coming in just above it. All the way up. And then if I need to go back across the bottom, I can go back across the bottom. Now, how easy was that? And how pretty is it? Was that not super easy? And does that not look amazing? So I'm going to chuck him in the lamp and cure him. That's one of my favorites at the minute. I really like him. Okay, so once he comes out, then we are moving on to our last one um, for marbling and it is water marbling. It is super cool, super pretty, super awesome and super messy all at the same time. Um, but it does look amazing when it's done. So when you are doing water marbling, you need to use a really strongly pigmented polish. If you use a weakly pigmented polish, it doesn't work very well. You also need to use a polish that isn't a fast drying polish because if you use a fast drying polish, then it won't spread out in the water properly. There he is. Let's get rid of this out of the way and get this guy top coated. So I am going to start off with a white nail. Now you can start off with any color nail, it doesn't matter. But I am going to start off, I'm actually going to start off with a lilac nail because why not? Um, do start off with a pale nail. That's not lilac, that's white. That looked lilac. <laughs> okay, so let's do white. Um, start off with a pale colored nail. You could always pick one of the colors that you're going to use in the design and use that as your starting color. And try to avoid using black, so that kind of thing, because the other colors don't show up great on black. We're going to be using Creative Play. So I have a bunch of colors here, nice and strongly pigmented colors. They are pretty. I've also got another black and green in there as well, but I'm going to drop them, so I'm just going to chuck them over there in the corner. Um, you are going to need a glass of water at room temperature, a finely pointed dotting tool or something with a point like you could use a cocktail stick or an orange wood stick, um, and you are going to need some cotton buds. Okay, so I am just going to get another layer of white painted on this guy. You want both of your layers of white to be cured. And I'm going to chuck him in the lab. And just before we start, here is our awesome layer marbling one that we just did. Okay. So, glass of water, check. So we'll start off with the lilac. And what I'm gonna do is I want a little bead of polish to drip off the end of my brush and land in my bowl and spread out. If you wiggle your bowl a little bit, it'll spread out a little bit more. And we'll get a little blob of green. Give the bowl a little wiggle and it'll spread out for you a little bit. We've got orange. The 
The more of a drip it gets, the further it spreads. But if you drip it from too high above, then it will drop to the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to do a bit of blue. This is going to look really cool. And just for good measure, I'm going to pop a blob of the other green in there as well. He is not as strongly pigmented. See the way he's spreading out a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll go back and do... Oh, we won't actually we'll leave it. Okay, so I've got my fine point tool and I'm going to go to the second colour in. So see the way my green is on the outside? So I'm going to the orange and I'm really slowly pulling that in. So I'm going to my orange again and really slowly pulling him in. Now I can go to my green up here, pull him in. drawing in the bowl essentially okay once you've got a pretty little pattern in your bowl I'm gonna spin this around a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better there we go what you need is your cured polish and a 45 degree angle okay so you're not going straight down and if you go straight down in you're going to tear the polish so you want a 45 degree angle Pick your favorite bit of the design, so wherever you're looking at it and you're like, oh, that's really nice. And you're gonna take your nail and at your 45 degree angle, you're gonna press the nail down into the water. Okay. Then you're gonna take your cotton buds and you're gonna scoop the rest of the polish out of the bowl. And the reason we do that is because if we don't, when we lift the nail out of the water, all the excess polish sticks to the front of the nail and will ruin your design. So this bit is a bit of a pain in the ass, but you need to make sure you do it. It is an important step. Then we are going to pop him out of the water, flip him over. How cool is that? Is that not awesome? I love water marbling. It looks amazing. So he is a little bit wet because he's just been in water. So we're going to give him a few little taps. Give him a couple of seconds to dry off. While he's drying off, just because we're working on a colour pop, I'm going to just see if I can wipe off a little bit of the excess. When you're doing this on a client, it's going to cover their fingers in nail polish. Leave it on their fingers. I repeat. Leave it on the fingers until you have top coated twice, then get acetone and wipe off the excess. Because you don't want to go to the hassle of putting doing this on all 10 nails and then slipping with your acetone and wiping half of it off. How awesome does that look? Okay, so the next thing then what we're going to do once I give him a few seconds to dry, is I have these really pretty little pink diamonds. And I'm going to get them opened up. And I'm going to get my top coat opened up. And I'm going to pop a little bit of top coat onto my palette, literally so that I can dip my dotting tool into that top coat and pick up those diamonds one at a time. Yes, I said pick up those diamonds one at a time. <laughs> You heard me correctly. Okay. So I'm going to get my top coat over the nail. Now how amazing does that already look? What I'm going to do now is dip into that bit of top coat and pick up one little diamond 
and I'm going to find a few little places on the nail where that little diamond is going to complement the design and I'm going to press it down in. So I'm just popping a couple of them on and I need to be really careful that exactly where I where it goes is where I want to put it because if you need to take these off you're going to take half your pattern off with you. So these stay where they get put. It's just to complement the design a little bit. Nothing major. So you can see I've just popped a few of them in there just to brighten up the design a little bit and I'm going to chuck him in the lamp. I'm going to cure him for 60 seconds and then I'm going to top coat him again. Um, and I'm top coating him again for two reasons. Firstly because you just made an awesome pattern and you don't want it to wear away or for you to have missed a little bit of your top coat and then you wipe it afterwards, it wipes it all off. Um, secondly because you've got to go in there with acetone to clean up their fingers and you want to make sure you don't wipe through your top coat and ruin your design. Um, and also because we put some diamonds on there and we want to make sure that they're nice and sealed in. So I'm going to grab another little layer of top coat. Um, and they are just glitter diamonds. They're just pieces of glitter in the shape of diamonds. And I'm going to pop another little layer of top coat on there. But how cool was that? Did you like water marbling? Give me a thumbs up if you liked water marbling. Um, also, your jar of water is totally fine for you to just go again um, a second time without needing to like get a fresh jar of water or anything. If you're doing it on all of the nails and it spreads out loads, do two nails into the jar at the same time just to speed yourself up a little bit. Okay, so I have acetone here. And I'm just going to clean up the stick a little bit so you can see it without a messy stick. No! Doesn't that look amazing? Look! It's so pretty! Yeah, feck it, this is still my favourite way of doing marbling. <laughs> it looks amazing! Um, you could do that in any colour. If your client is getting pink nails and they want it on one nail, you could do um, a couple of different pinks with some white in there, maybe a bit of black, maybe a little bit of purple to stand out a little bit. It just looks amazing. It's the messiest way to do it, but it's class. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. Okay, so we did Sharpie marbling, which was this guy here. Super quick, super easy, super fun, looks awesome. We did marbling with our wet white and putting a little bit of wet black in there before we cured it and mixing them together. We did our purple and then we put a load of little dots over it and mixed them all together kind of marbling. We did this guy here where we put stripes of colour on. Look how dry my fingers are from the acetone. Uh, where we put loads of stripes of colour on and then drag them through each other and that looks amazing. And then we finished off with the best one, which is water marbling, which looks class. Look at him, he's amazing. I love him so much. Okay, so thank you for watching, ladies. That was a quick week, um, a quick little class. But those designs are awesome. There are ones that you guys will all be well able to do and your clients will absolutely love them. Um, so I will see you soon. Let me know if you liked water marbling and when you give it a go, make sure you share your videos and let us see. And try to get it on a couple of clients this week, at least one of the different types of marbling techniques. And I will see you in the group soon. Thanks girls, bye.